Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at adding triple digit numbers together. Now this may be quite difficult and it may take a while to learn how to do this because as you add more and more digits, it's hard and harder to keep all that information in your brain and try to write things down as you're trying to formulate things. But let's just show you how this would be done and after you get some practice with single digit numbers and double digit numbers, you may want to try your hand at triple digit numbers. The first thing I do is I look at the first two numbers, 200 plus 100, that gives me 300. And then I look at the next two numbers and see if they add up to more than 10. If they don't, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. I can write that number down. Next, I look at 4 plus 2 would be 6, but then I look at the next two numbers. 6 plus 8 is a number greater than 10, which means I need to add one more to the sum of these two. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1, gives me 7. And now I look at 6 plus 8, that's 14. I already gave the 10 away. I'm left with a 4. The 4 goes over there, and that's how I quickly in my head can come up with the sum of 246 plus 128. Again, I look at the first two numbers, that's a 3. I look at the next two numbers, it's less than 10, so I keep the 3 and write it down. 4 plus 2 is 6. I look at the next two numbers, that's going to be bigger than 10. That means I need to add 1 to the 6 to make it 7. 6 plus 8 gives me 14. I already get rid of the 10. That means I'm left with a 4 and I get 374. Let's do that now with the next numbers. 6 plus 2 is 8. I look at the next two numbers, 2 plus 4 is 6, that's less than 10, so I keep the 8. 2 plus 4 is 6, but I look at the next two numbers, 9 plus 4 is 13, 6 plus 1 is 7, so I write down the 7, and 4 plus 9 is 13, I gave the 10 away, and I'm left with a 3. Here I look at these two numbers, and I say 3 plus 2, that is equal to 5. But then I look at the next two numbers, 5 plus 6, which is more than 10. That means I need to add one more to the 5. That becomes a 6. So now I look at 5 plus 6, which is equal to 11. But I gave the 10 away. That gives me a 1. So I remember the 1. But now I have 9 plus 6, which is more than 2. And I look at the next two numbers, which means I need to add one more to that. So instead of 1, I remember now a 2. 9 plus 6 is 15, but I gave the 10 away. I'm left with a 5. That gives me 625. So the next two numbers, I look at 4 plus 1 gives me 5. But then I look at the next two numbers, 2 plus 8 is 10. That means I give that 10 to the first two numbers. 4 plus 1 is 5 plus, plus 1 more, that gives me 6. Now since 2 plus 8 is 10, I would normally put a 0 there. But then I look at the next two numbers, 1 plus 9, that's 10. So I give that 1 to the first, the middle two numbers, so I end up with a 1. And 1 plus 9 is 10, the 10 is gone, and I'm left, left with a 0. That gives me 610. And that's how we add triple digit numbers together. Well, let's try one more and see if we now got the hang of it. Let's write 248 plus 371. Let's see what that is equal to. Again, the methodology is 2 plus 3 is 5, so remember 5. But four, 4 plus 7 is more than 10, so you have to add another 1 to the 5, that becomes a 6. So we write down the 6. 4 plus 7 was 11, the 10 is gone, we're left with 1. I look at the next two numbers, 8 plus 1 is less than 10, so I keep the 1. And 8 plus 1 is 9, I write down the 9, and that's 619. So you can simply write the numbers down like that. Once you get the hang of it, let's, I'll show you how quickly you can actually do this. 128 plus, let's say, 465. 1 plus 4 is 5. 6 plus 2 is 8, so I'll write the 5 down. 2 plus 6 is 8, but 8 plus 5 is 13, so instead of 8, I write down a 9. 8 plus 5 is 13, the 10 is gone, I write down a 3, I get 593. And that's how we add numbers in our head without writing anything else down except just the answer. And that's how it's done.